Okay. Hi, everybody. Thank you for coming out tonight. This is awesome. There are, oh, you guys. You guys are the best. I'm super nervous. I uh, was actually just thrown up here. I wasn't supposed to be the guy, but now I'm the guy, so I'm going to make it up. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I'm Mike. Um, and, um, oh boy. <laughs> we're laughing. Yeah. Okay, so we're at Liberation. Uh, this is our, um, actually, this is kind of a big deal because this is the last show for two of our members, Matt and Katie. Uh, yeah, we're going to miss them. They're the best. It's hot. <laughs> <sighs> It's freezing. You want to go outside? Too? Let's outside? do. Let's, yeah. Let's, 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 no, 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 no. Sit down. Um, actually, I need help because there's like seven or eight of us, and or seven of us, and there, uh, it's just me right now, and so we need to get everyone in here. So I need one of you to help me with that. All right. Yes, I saw your hand first. You guys all. Thank you. All right, so what is your name? I'm Kate. Everyone, this is Kate. Oh, hi, Kate. Um, okay, so Kate, what do you do? I'm a student. You're a student. Was it a good week? It was dead week, so yes. It was, oh, oh, good, good. Yes. So we're going to pretend it was a bad week, because I needed you to say oh, bad week. It was a terrible week. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry that it was a bad week. Um, so what do you, you're a student. Yes. Means, what do you study? Uh, animal sciences. Animal sciences, okay, so. Um, Big ant. Uh, we're gonna okay, so like on Mo it's Monday. Oh. You have all these finals to study for it, and like actually you mostly have papers to write oh, on God, the on papers. the worst animals. Um, like what are the worst animals? Um, like snakes. Snakes. Uh, not at all interesting. Um, like boring snakes. Little yeah. snakes. Um, you have to write a paper on little snakes. Little snakes. Okay, okay. And so that's 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 ten. Okay. That's 10. But the week gets better. You finish a couple of those papers, and then midweek, uh, your professor emails you. Specifically me? Just you, and says, hey, you're so good at snakes. Your paper, your snake paper was so good, you don't have to take the final. So that's Woo! five. Yeah, yes. Doesn't that sound awesome? Kate uh, is a, uh, what is a snake scientist? It's a reptiles. There's a name for it. Herpeto is it herpetologist? Her thank you, thank you. Um, and you get promoted to um, herpetologist um, grad student. You get promoted several awesome. years. And this is going so long, I'm so sorry. Um, and then that's five, and then uh, four, you find like 20 bucks, and you're gonna buy pizza with that. All right. And then three, uh, um, all my papers are done. All your papers. Yeah. yeah. All your papers are done. And then two, um, like the love of your life comes up to you and is like, "Hey, baby, let's make out." And that's awesome. Um, and then um, one is like final weeks over, and you get to go home and you get the best Christmas presents. And we're gonna pretend that that was awesome. Okay. So, so I need your help. And you have to get like crazy excited by the one. That's fine. And the why is this taking so long? And um, I was hoping you'd laugh at that. I <laughs> guess. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, and I need your help, and we're going to slow clap, and at one, we're going to be really fast. Okay. So, all right. Ten. Let's see about the paper. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. You're a herpetologist. Four. Three. One. Of you one. Oh. Okay. All right. So now we're gonna play a game called Beastie Rap, and we are gonna rap, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be great. Good. Uh, gonna be real good. So I need your help. I need a from. There's a few of you. I need your help over here. A one syllable name. Ted. I heard Ted. <laughs> What are we doing? We're, we're going to be stupid. Have something here. Ten. Punch him. 
My favorite show is better off dead. A boom. A boom pooch. When I'm watching it, I think I'd be better off dead. A boom. A boom pooch. Really corny joke. That's what she said. A boom. A boom pooch. Out of your butt, you gotta get the lead. A boom. I'm feeling crazy. Gotta take my meds. A boom. A boom pooch. Helen Mirren is Morgan Freeman in the movie. Red. Another one syllable name. K. 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 Who's the letter? I still A boom. A boom pooch. A boom pooch. A boom pooch. A letter of the alphabet is K. A boom. Steve Irwin was killed by a sting. Ray. A boom. A boom pooch. After April comes May. A boom. A boom pooch. A blue bird is a J. <laughs> Get your pets spit on neuter or spit. I messed up. It's good. I'm gonna do worse. Oh yes. So okay. So Matt's team, they all died. Uh, uh, Stingray, uh, ghost of Steve Irwin was mad at Joe and killed off Matt's team. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, so now Matt needs a posse to help him. So Matt's gonna come up with the the rhymes, and you're gonna have to figure out what they are. Oh yeah! Yeah! I'm, I'm yeah! Yes. So, can we get one more one syllable Clark, name? Clark. Yeah, Clark. 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 Am I starting? Yep. <laughs> Superman's name, it is Clark. <laughs> Gonna go to the res hall called Torque! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that works. It's pretty lame. Alright, let's actually. Yeah, we did it! I was hoping Joe would stay because I'm really bad at this game. Uh, so I need uh, I need to start uh, one syllable name. One more. Fuck. Bill. Fuck. Keep it classy. Wonder what that guy's thinking. Buck. A boom. A boom. A boom. A male deer a is a buck. A boom. A boom pooch. The word you're thinking of it is fuck. A boom pooch. A boom pooch. A boom pooch. Driving a big truck. A Those little birds, they are fuck. A boom. A boom pooch. If I win, I'll have some luck. A boom. A boom pooch. Chickens, they go clack. A boom. A boom pooch. Three stooges, say... Nyeh. Yeah. 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 All right, and uh, for Katie, another a final one-syllable word. You're all the posse for both of them now. Woo! Door. Yeah. Door. Door. Who starts the door? I start. Okay. All right. A boom. A boom boom. A boom. A boom boom. I open and close my car. Door. A boom. Uh, boom, boom. Uh, another name for story, it is more. Boom. I really want some more. A boom boom. When I sleep, I do more. Boom. A boom boom. It's more than three, it is four. A boom. A boom boom. All right, for the next segment of our show, we are going to tell you some stories. So they're gonna be fun yeah. for us, hopefully for you too. Uh, to start this off, we're gonna get all our members up here in a line, and we need a one word suggestion for any word you think of. High cliff. That's two words. It's a compound phrase. We'll go, we'll go with high cliff. We'll, we'll humor you on that double word, single word thing. High cliff. High cliff. High cliff. So, uh, a couple years back, uh, there was a sale at the mall, and <laughs> it was a couple years ago, it was a sale at the mall, it was around Christmas, around this time, 
Um, and it was it was for a tie and tie clip combo. And <laughs> it was the greatest day of Matt's life. <laughs> Don't <worry. laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And uh, it was only like 20 bucks, and I was really excited about it, but I agonized over buying this. Um, I was in the middle of the mall, and I was just like, um, I like picked it up, and I looked at it, and I'm like, no, I want this one, because there's a bunch of different combinations. And <laughs> I picked it up, I'm like, yes, this is perfect. No, I can't do this, this is too much money. And so I'd like, leave, no, I should probably get this. Because, I mean, how corner am I going to find a deal about a tie clip again? And it comes with a tie, I mean, it's like double the bargain. And so I put it down, and I was just like, I'm, I'm on a budget, I can't, I can't do this. And... Then I bought two of them. <laughs> and that's the end of my story. <laughs> Every year for Christmas, my grandmother gives me a tie clip. It seems nice. But it's like she forgets that I have ten of them already. Um, and I don't even wear ties around her that often. Because at family gatherings, I'm just in t-shirt or whatever. So for some reason, she thinks that I'm either a slob or that I need a lot of tie clips, like I lose them, whatever, but I have, I would say 15 or 16 tie clips, and they're all exactly the same. I think she gets them from the same lady at the same store, like she goes to the mall, probably that sale, and she's like, oh, my grandson, he likes tie clips, I'll take both, and I'll give the tie to Goodwill or something. Yeah. Erickson, looks like another suicide. Yep. Poor yeah, Schmuck couldn't decide between the low-fat and fat-free mac and cheese. It's a tough decision. <sighs> he just couldn't handle the pressure. We have to shut this door down. Yeah, we do. Good thing it was yeah. just a kiosk yep. in the middle of the mall. <laughs> Kraft yeah. macaroni and cheese will never bother this mall again. <laughs> hey, man. Heard they shut down your kiosk. It's rough news, sport. There was a corpse, and they just cut the corpse right in half. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't your fault. The guy just died. You couldn't help it. I know. I know. So I heard that there's a there's a spot open in that strip mall downtown. It's a little bit bigger than your kiosk, but I thought maybe we could go halvesies. You know, I got that knife business. I don't know. It's a really bad idea. I should just leave. But then, uh, halvesies. Halvesies. <laughs> You go have these knives, and macaroni, and cheese. He, and he is my wife's brother. No, I can't. I am your wife's brother. I heard that. Inner mile of yes, wife's brother. Yes, you can. I need this. I need this so bad. I got kids. I got like seven or eight or nine kids. I'm gonna sell my knives for those, those little kids. No, no, absolutely no. I can't. Yes. Yes, absolutely, yes, you have it. No! No, you shook on it, you half shook, that was a half a shake. Uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna move my knives in there, and, and I'm hoping that you, you'll come through with the other side. That seems fair, I will sleep on it. Mac the knife, that's what we're gonna call it. I know it's your business, but we don't need any more knives. No, they're for selling, baby. But. Your seven, eight, or nine kids are gonna get into it. Nah, the boxes have black tape on them. Nah, I'm a, it's my turn to wear the shirt. But you made it for both of us. Two neck holes. Yeah, it's your get along I, shirt. Get along! I'm tired of sharing. Okay, go get the knives. No, 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 no. It's okay. We're not. The doctor said the surgery would kill us. Don't do it. Missed one of us. In these boxes, it's nice, you see? Did Don't you... make me rip this tape open. Did you happen to sell any at the Mac the Knife? It's, it's not open yet. I'm still moving them in. Did they find out who cut that corpse in half? Shh. Why do they know about that? <laughs> that is too much. That is too much for their young ears. I'll tell you later. <laughs> Did you tell them about that corpse? I the C-O-R-P-C is? <laughs> they can spill! You have the craps? <laughs> Dad has the craps again. No, idiot, he said corpse. He said craps! Uh-oh. Go back! These kids are growing up stupid. <laughs> we can hear! I thought you were learning that good! I think it's you. What? 
I'm always away with the knives. Did, did you hear yourself say that sentence? You are always away with the knives. I've got lots of knives. <laughs> Looks like we got a copycat killer here at the Mac the Knife. Now it can't be the same guy because he only did it at a mac and cheese store. This is a mac and cheese and knife store. Hey, excuse me. Are you a witness to this murder? I own this half of this store. Which half? We need to know. This one. Oh, he's in the knife one. That's all right. Okay. He's innocent. I'm so sorry for your loss. Everything bad happens to me always. That's a dead end. Everything bad happening to you always. Oh, I stepped in gum. <laughs> Show me that. <laughs> Damn, a hangnail. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> See, I slept on the blood. <laughs> It's all right. Every, every yeah. You have these steel toe shoes they issue to us. Can't slip on anything. Yep. Now, who owns this half of the store? My brother-in-law. Your brother-in-law. We need to bring him in. We need to bring him in. Bring him in. Bring him in. <laughs> they, that was fast. <laughs> I was dropping some memes outside. So I was what? listening in. I was sneaking up on you. How many mac and cheese stores have you owned, sir? No, I just own this knife half. He owns the knife half. He owns the knife half. So you're a copycat knife store owner. I thought With I owned With mac the and knife cheese. Half. No, I own the knife half. Our business deal is very shaky. <laughs> <laughs> we can go back to the station. Do some research. All right. Who's this guy? Well, don't know. <laughs> He's dead. Sure is. <laughs> I think Dad lost another business. I overheard him and Mom spelling. <laughs> Show me that. <laughs> no, it was the K N I D I D a boy. Say that uh, A G A I N. <laughs> Don't you use your highfalutin knowledge on me. K N I O boy. Say something about boy. They're having another baby. Go back. <laughs> It doesn't sound good. It's never good when they spend. I think us and the other seven kids, we're not going to be able to eat tonight. Eight kids, idiot. They only count us as one. I love you, brother, but I just wish that sometimes I can have my own personality or shirt. <laughs> I didn't mean to upset you. Honey, I've been thinking. Let's think about calling a doctor to separate our shirt and me's twins. <laughs> I don't know. I would do it with my knives, but they're all taped up. And I don't have any knives to cut the... <laughs> Take. A really flawed plan. Well, I didn't think about it. Because it's never safe when you think about stuff. That's why I don't do it. But you're thinking about separating us? Ah. <laughs> I got the witness. Good. Get us, a, get us a peanut for this Sit. one. This one. Sit this one don't down. know. This one don't know nothing. <laughs> All right. How long has your dad been in the knife and cheese business? How long have you two been conjoined? Ever. Forever. Shut up. <laughs> but you can talk when we ask you questions. No. His, Excuse me. All right. His speech is inadmissible. Come here. He can hear me if I don't cover up his mouth. You will be the bad cop. I'll oh, those are his ears. Sorry. Yes. I get those mixed up. Oscar, what moment? See? I've never been to school. <laughs> That's why I'm here for you, man. I don't even know how to spell subpoena. <laughs> Neither do I. But it's okay. We've got each other. We can get through this. All right, let's nail this fucker. <laughs> you're nail us? No, you're, you're like, not supposed to use the F word. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Officer James! I'm here! <laughs> Officers Bartle and James, you two use the F word in front of children. It, it wasn't I, me. 
Hand in your badges. It was him. And write an apology they, letter. Hand in your badge. They were being belligerent. They were being belligerent. They were. They're uh, quite belligerent. Bartle and James, you two are the best cops in my precinct. And that's why you won't take away my badge. But you're loose cannons. I will. I'm the loose cannon this force needs. Hey, I'm the looser cannon. There's going to be shared <laughs> amnesia. <to me. laughs> At the precinct, cannon off. I won. He cheated. You were disqualified. For what? I, what's, I, I don't know what to say. Show me that thing. <laughs> I'm here early. No one else is here. I can cheat. Oh, sh dang it. <laughs> it. I was... Just it, coming into it. I don't know where that came from. That was my mom's china. <laughs> Go back. <laughs> you cheated. <laughs> did you hear what the boys were saying? The F W O R D. Yeah, the nail. Where did they hear that? The what? The F W O R D. <laughs> oh, Ford! <laughs> for you, Tommy! For you! No, for you! I don't know what that is! <laughs> no, I think they got it from the television! I knew we shouldn't have got that devil box! <laughs> but your mom. Get the knives! Let's take care of that box with the knives. I took him to the store. Dad, nub it. Because <laughs> you went to thinking again, right? Well, I just thought, oh, I guess I did. <laughs> and I didn't realize it, but I did it. You did. Well, there was that corpse, and I was like, I better get these knives over there in case they come and see him in my house. And here. And now? Mom, Tommy's passed out. I punched him in the head. <laughs> It's kind of heavy. I think we need to get along shirt. Oh. I thought they were wearing the get along shirt. Ow. 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 Get it. I'm trying to get it. Mom. Don't fight it. Mom. Don't fight it. Sword this. What? Sword this. Get this. F-W-O-R-D! Get the S-O-A-P, Jed! <laughs> Thank you, Mom. That was invigorating. No problem. We always do our warm-ups before we have these conversations. Let's get to conversating. Well, I have some bad news. One of my detectives broke your fine china. What? I had it in the precinct because I like looking at it. It reminds me of Dad. Show me that. It's like I'm eating off of my dad's face. <laughs> and Officer James came in early to cheat on her loose cannon test. Show me that! <laughs> I'm gonna cheat on this loose cannon test? Damn it! My mom's my china! I'm so sorry! I'll, I'll, I'll pick it up for you! Here. In one timeline, I picked it up. In another, <laughs> she picked it up. You know what? Do you know what you've done? You've made yourself even more disappointing than those dang Jeremy's twin brothers of yours. <laughs> because I severed the timeline? <laughs> I'm sorry, Bob. I knew it. I knew you had one brother and sister. I knew it. You've been cheating on me with your brother, Dad. <laughs> so 
like we got another one, two, half. Two. One. What if you couldn't decide whether to be? I think this one or this one. Wait. What if I'm still alive? There's only one thing we can do. Close the kiosk. <laughs> we have to save one. No, no. <laughs> Move it over here first. <laughs> Use the long kiosk. Use the middle lane to kill us. <laughs> Go on the little cut him in half and save him. Let me back in! Oh. <laughs> there we go. Wait, no, stop! We have to save one of them. That's what I'm doing! I'm trying to explain it to you. Here we go. Say goodbye, say goodbye to this one. Tell me. See! <laughs> That's exactly what we planned. Got weird. <laughs> Did. <laughs> it was nice though, a little family moment. It was right. enjoyable. Thank you. We are going to play a game next called Celebrity Sighting. This is a game for Matt and Katie since it's their last show. Yeah. So nice. What they have done, they have seen a celebrity in the bush or whatever. And <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Anyway, uh, they need a suggestion for a celebrity that they Miley saw. Cyrus. Okay, sure, Miley Cyrus. <laughs> and what mundane, everyday, boring activity did they see Miley Cyrus doing? Serving soup at the soup kitchen. All right, you saw Miley Cyrus. She was serving soup. Thanksgiving soup. They're gonna tell you the story. Take it away. Why don't you go ahead, honey? Really? I guess just this once. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, so uh, Bob and I here, we were, we were taking our yearly Thanksgiving stroll. Every year. Every year. We only go on a stroll once a year. Just once. Just once with our three cats. Bob, Tom, and Roger. Right, we named the first one after you. That's right. That's right. It's like our children. Yes. If you weren't, never Don't, mind. No. <laughs> we have company. No, I just... Around the holidays, when I see all our boys, I just wonder what would just continue with the story. I don't know if I can now. You, I'll pick it up later. Okay, so we were walking by the old construction site, and I was peeking through that little hole, and I must have had. I still don't know why you were doing that. It just, you see it on cartoons. You want to see if there's there's men working. All right. <laughs> Miley Cyrus. We saw that dang old Miley Cyrus. Yeah, we did. We were walking our cats, and we happened to. And we had to pull and pry you away from that hole. Wanted to see. Sorry. And what did Curious. you see? What did you see? Nothing, because it was snowing. But it could have been. Could have been working men. Could have. Could have been working men. What's so wrong about that? Yeah. Anyway, past the construction site to the old soup kitchen. That's, the, thought, that's the next stop on our yearly stroll. We're hungry. Yeah. It's right there. Why not? Why not? <laughs> they got little cat servants too. Little casseroles. Little, <laughs> <laughs> little papas. <laughs> Little Popeyes with Bob Tom, I forget the other one. Roger. Roger. Roger, how could you Thank forget you. that? Good He's like a I child to us. Because I've had eight or so beers. <laughs> <laughs> you wonder why I like the construction site? I don't wonder why. <laughs> anyway, let's get back. We keep getting off track. We do. Okay, Miley Cyrus. We saw Miley Cyrus serving up some soup. Right, and I was surprised. Because I figured that's not something she'd do. No. I did tell her how I like Wrecking Ball. It's, it's very catchy. 
I told her that maybe she'd want to show those. You know, it also has the, the working stuff in it, the, constru the, the construction The hammers. Like. Yeah. 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 Exactly. And the walls coming down. Yeah. It's a little too sexual for me, though. Well, probably because there ain't no men in that movie. <laughs> <laughs> See! <laughs> Oh, wait, not uh, yet, Mike. Not yet. Nope. What's now? <laughs> We're gonna play the game you're in. <laughs> <laughs> Mike was gonna host this part, but then he's in it, so we just had this discussion. It doesn't matter. Okay, we're gonna play. <laughs> we're gonna play a game called Naive Countdown, and we need Mike and who else? Not me. Yeah, we need Mike and Joe out here. They're gonna leave. All right, Mike, Mike, Joe. Say bye to Mike and Joe. Shut the door on your way out. Soundproof door is a soundproof stairwell. Okay, so Sammy and Katie are gonna do a scene. It's gonna be about a minute long. After that scene, we're gonna go 30 seconds, 15 seconds, and then at the seven second mark, we're gonna pull those guys back in. We're gonna watch that and recreate the whole scene from scratch. So. Can we get a suggestion for these two girls? I was calling dudes, but so it's not right. What? Oh, a suggestion for these two dudes <laughs> to do their scene about. Climbing a tree. Rooting their android. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like it hurts. We're okay. find out. It sounds rooting, like it hurts a little. Rooting your android. Rooting your android. Take it away, about a minute long. <laughs> go, android, go! Go! <laughs> Come back in here. So one, two, three. Come back in here. Here. Shut up. I don't think that door's very All right, all right. So we're gonna do that scene again in seven seconds. You guys ready to watch? Okay, seven seconds. Go. We're gonna redo that minute-long scene, and it's gonna be pretty close. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, you look good in that color. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Brad. I think we're in danger. <laughs> You're darn right we are. That shark swallowed the time returner. Oh no! You have to jump in there and get it. <laughs> ah! Ah! Sharks! You have to fight the punch it, punch it in the nose. You, hey, it smells, that's the most sensitive part. You still look good in that shirt! Thank you, I'm really... Oh no, the shark's crawling legs! And now we're screwed! Ah, we're totally screwed! Uh, you look really good, Clark! I, I picked this shirt out 
at Kohl's and I said, I hope Bradley likes it. <laughs> you thought about me when you were clothes shopping? Oh no, we gotta get under the door. <laughs> Scene. <laughs> Okay, Mike's gonna explain the next thing to you guys. Encore. This is, <laughs> all right, so this is the moment we have all been waiting for. Uh, especially me. <laughs> so we just told you a little while ago this story about the, the kiosks and the, the joint twins. We're gonna tell you a different story. Um, but this time you get to help us out. You might have noticed we did some calls. So like we said, Oscar winning moment. We got dramatic. Well. Someone in the audience gets to do it if I don't hit you in the face. So yeah, feel free to pass that around. Um, and when you feel like something needs to be a bit more dramatic, go ahead and call that. Or if you want um, more elaboration on something, if you want to see something, you can call show me that. If I don't kill one of you. That bounce, that bounce good. Hand it out. That bounce, just hand it. No, I was, yeah, I was good. Throws good. Throws good, you like the throws? You like the sense of danger? You might also want to know at some point what we're thinking. So yeah, what are you thinking? So, oh, inner monologue. Inner monologue! Oh, oh, boy. I really wish that I gave a better introduction to the show, and I wish I didn't come out then, and I wish I knew when I was supposed to go. Uh, you guys are too kind, and you wanted me to throw it, so. Oh, I almost hit you in the face. All right, so uh, we start with monologue. This is the last time we're just going to do some basic scenes. We're going to start out with two or three basic scenes based off of one suggestion that you give us. So, how about somebody tell me what their plans are for tomorrow morning? Swing. 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 Hold on, hold on, hold on. The girl pointing to herself. Building a fort. 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 All right, son, today's the day. You've been waiting for 12 years for this. Now you're finally old enough. All right, stop that, boy. I'm trying to tell you something. What? We're going to build a tree fort today. I already started it. These are chairs, boy. Now, we're, we're in the living room. And we're going to go outside and build you a tree fort. I don't want to go outside. It's, it'll be good for you. It's just like when I was a kid and I had a tree fort and my pappy built me. Boom. It's so, I never knew my pappy. <laughs> <laughs> Just like my pappy built me. We're gonna go outside and do this. Can it have internet? <laughs> There's no internet. Ow. Yes, you can bring your internet with you. Internet for Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Son, I could use some help but hold I'm this. internetting. <laughs> this tree fort's not gonna build itself, it's just for you and not Yeah, he's building it. Oscar winning, Oscar winning moment. Son. You need some help with that tree fort, son. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca. Now, yes, Todd. You are a teenage woman. Okay. And since males will be coming to a court you. <laughs> I, have, I don't know if I'm ready to be a court. I Todd. know I'm not ready for you to be a courted. Inner monologue. I'm so ready to be a courted. I've got to get out of here. <laughs> This whole like southern bell thing is really not working for me. I hate the hoop skirts and the tea and the yes ma'am and the oh I just I just gotta get accorded. I gotta get out of here. Now have a seat. It's time for high tea. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, so I built, <laughs> I built a fort around our house. Uh, <laughs> To keep the boys from a court in you. <laughs> Thank you. Your mother and I were talking, and we were thinking about getting married. <laughs> Show me that. Show 
me that. <laughs> well, we've been together for 15 years now, and we have a 13 year old daughter. You've been courting me for daughter. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if you'd like to do me the, the pleasure, the honor of, of, of considering. Spit it out, Todd. Would, awesome. you, moment. would you like. <laughs> To make me a happy man. Do you need to go to the bathroom first time? No. And marry me. Oh. Gee, Pappy, I can't tell you how how nice it's been to get to know you after you. Took off and left me and mom those 37 years ago. All in the space of an hour, I feel like you never left. I'm glad we could build this tree fort together. This my own son doesn't feel like... What are you doing, Pappy? I didn't know. This seems too good to be true. Oh, finally. It's been so long. Smell like those cigarettes. <laughs> Dad, wake up! You're having a drink. <laughs> oh. I was, I was sleep standing. I thought we were gonna finish the. I don't know how my dad falls asleep on the job like that all the time. <laughs> it worries me quite a bit, but it is nice to see him smile once in a while. Peppy. Just in my life. I never knew my pappy. <laughs> <laughs> Look, let's just, just finish the fork for you wanna finish the fork for? <laughs> Do fork fork will be Fort Fork. It's our last name, boy. Fork. It'll be So uh you got through that fort. I survived the fort and I've come to a court. Show me that. <laughs> Fire the catapult! <laughs> No, 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 uh, actually hear from my friend. Air my log. Ted's really lonely. He never leaves the apartment. I just, I just, I just thought this might be a good thing to do for him. I will kill that bitch. <laughs> I have been waiting my entire life for someone to get through that fort. And if he's here for Stephanie, I swear to God I will kill that bitch. Hey, Bill, I didn't, I didn't know that was you! When I was hit the catapult, remember? That was you? Yeah. Hey, how are you? Don't touch me. Uh, Don't touch me! Uh, you nearly killed me. If those arrows had gone 300 feet shorter... <laughs> Show me the arrows! Arrows! <laughs> That's how you treat me? Yeah, I built the fort to protect my daughter. Yeah, great. Do that. <laughs> Off your winning moment. I don't Dad, this is really unnecessary! I don't this know. isn't fair! I don't remember there being a fort in this tree. <laughs> Cute. 
I don't have no kind of way with no girls. But Ron said this one was the most beautiful one in antebellum Georgia. I said she was cute. Don't go overboard. <laughs> I seem to remember a, a warning that he told me. Well, my reverie's over. I forgot. <laughs> so, uh, what did, what did, uh, Sir Ron tell, 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 tell you? Do you want some milk? <laughs> well, certainly, I, I love milk with my tea. I don't have any milk. <laughs> Wow, Dad, I can't believe we finished it. Well, I finished it. I can't believe we finished it. I finished it. I finished it. I did all the work myself. You just sat there on your stupid net machine. Hey, there, on, on. <laughs> just that net machine. Carolyn was on aim and always tapping, tapping away on that net machine. Can't not talk to her. Well, we're at dinner. We're at and, dinner. You know, I did Pay a lot. Pay attention to your mother. This thing's like, even cool without me. I'm a net machine. And, uh, Dad, what is on there? I want to see it. <laughs> I sat up in that fort all night waiting for you to come up there. I was there. You were not. I put a webcam up there. What is a webcam? <laughs> it's, it's a camera for the web. What is a web? What are you doing in my, it's our tree house? <laughs> this online dating is much better than them boys getting through the fort. Yeah, I know. You know, my dad never really gets the interwebs. My daddy never gets anything. You know, your dad almost shot me once. I'm so sorry to hear that. How'd that happen? Well, I was walking by your... <laughs> hey, are you there? Hello? <laughs> Thank you, boys, for coming to tea. Take a seat. I just need to learn a little bit more about you before... Before you go courting my daughter. Sure. Well, honey, have you seen the girl? We're doing the questioning. How did you get through my fort? <laughs> Ron! Ron, open the gate. I'll show you in a moment. <laughs> the gate is open. All right, stop playing out. Go back. You have very nice hair. Thank you. If you hurt my daughter, I'm going to rip it out of your pretty little skull. Why is this happening to me? <laughs> I'm the man who invented the internet in 1882. I shouldn't be so afraid of girls. Show me that. <laughs> oh, Ron, you're back. Nope, you have me confused with my friend Ron. <laughs> So sorry. Look, it's an interconnected series of computers that, that you can use to instant message with anyone, any Yankee from New York. I built it for you. Thank you. I'm going to use it to court that other guy because the other guy is so much like actually Seriously, what, what is wrong with the South? For you! Thank you! Now there's the door. <laughs> I'm taking my. No, 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 you can leave it. Yeah. She's touching me. <laughs> Son! The tree fort fell down! <laughs> Turns out I never learned how to make one of these. Son! I think I need to go to the hospital. What? This is my leg is up here. I see that. <laughs> Son! Mm hmm. You could go on without me. Yeah, that sounds fun. Honey, have you seen what's on the other side of this fort? <coughs> nope, I, I looked the other way while I built it. Oh, God! <laughs> 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 
Hey! Hey, we're neighbors! Oh. Looks like you're building a catapult. That seems dangerous. Are those archers? <laughs> seems unnecessary in a suburban area. I've gone to the other side, and I've seen things. Show me. Oh, hi! Hey. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Wow. That's cool. Yeah, I built it for it's my like kid. It's like a smaller version of what we got. Yeah, he's just... You know, he's always on the internet. What is that? I don't know. Oh. I'm just trying to get him to love me. It's <laughs> not working. I'm trying to get my husband and not husband to do that for 15 years. Did you say husband, not husband? Yeah, we're not really married. Husband <laughs> winning moment. Oh, he just breaks his wall and go up. I want it to stay up. Honey. Yo, oh, hey. Survived the fort for you? Well, turns out Rebecca didn't like me. Not even when I invented Don't the internet. Rebecca Stephanie. Her, her sister. She has a sister that I've never seen. She probably likes hiding in her room. That's my favorite thing. <laughs> her parents don't know about her either. That sounds perfect. How about her ankles? <laughs> Take a seat. Sorry I tried to kill you with the catapult. No, it's fine. I didn't need the use of my right arm anyway. Well, in my defense, you startled my archers. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm so sorry. Join that! I guess this is the That's him! That's the marriage counselor! Yeah. Get him, archers! Oh. Baronitang! Baronitang! Okay. I just had the one arrow. <laughs> I don't really the see why we have a marriage council when we're not married. So you're having problems with your marriage? Clearly. <laughs> Look, usually my professional, professional ethics keeps me apart from the personal side, but I'm going to make this marriage fail so much. Me and my arm. Come on. <laughs> I think the problem is, is that you. I, I do I think care, it is you. I care See? too much. <laughs> See, he's not. I think it's you, and I, I think that the best course of action would probably be to move out immediately. She keeps rejecting my love. Awesome, waiting moment. I just love her so much. <laughs> I never see it. I try to like open mouth kiss her and stuff, and she does this. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I try to put my tongue in her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Would you? I think I found the problem. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Put it away. <laughs> Put it away. That's what I've been telling her for years. I bought her an engagement chair. <laughs> to, to be fair, it was a beautiful chair. Did you guys... The seat opened up. There were girls in it. Did you some different background where that means something to both of you? Doesn't, doesn't everybody get an engagement chair? How did you, how did you propose you to your wife? So well, you at... I think that we should get home. It's bit, it's late. <laughs> well, we've been on this. Home you know, would be nice, but actually, I think that uh, we should probably get a uh, get a uh, move on. <laughs> yes. Uh, you know what? 
I, you drank your whole glass of champagne really quickly, yeah. but I was uh, thirsty. in there is actually... <laughs> I, uh, I've been very regular. I'm, we'll discuss how and when we get the engagement ring. Do you want to get married? Go back. <laughs> it was a very normal a ring. It's <laughs> so small. And you're trying Did to counsel us? <laughs> It's normal! <laughs> oh, you are. We are gonna recommend you to everyone. It's normal! Everyone does it! Uh huh. S- Southern Belle Stephanie, are you there? Yes. I hear you look a lot like your mom. <laughs> That's what people tell me. Do you want some milk? <laughs> See! <laughs> we have one last game to play for you guys. I need everyone up here in a line. This game is called I Like My Women. And we just need to get started. You'll understand how it goes in a second. Or, or men, I guess. I'm sorry. I like my people. Just, today's Gentle world is so hard. Could I get a suggestion of something in your kitchen? Knives. Nice. <laughs> I like my men like I like my knives. Sharp. I like my women like I like my knives. Sold to me in packs of 12 by poor college students. <laughs> I like, I like my, my women like I like my knives. Japanese. <laughs> I like my women how I like my knives. From TV. <laughs> Alright, a uh, new suggestion, this time something in your living room. Couch. 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 <laughs> like my women like I like my couch, handed down to me by my grandparents. <laughs> I like my women like I like my couch, always hiding things in places, like quarters. <laughs> I like my women how I like my couch, in leather. <laughs> I like my men like I like my couches. I wake up on top of them and I have no idea how I got them. <laughs> Let's get another suggestion. Uh, this time something you find outside. Couch. Tree. <laughs> 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 Trees. Trees. I like my women how I like my trees. Bear in autumn. <laughs> I like my men how I like my trees. Woody. <laughs> okay, I was going to one last suggestion. Uh, a profession. Psychiatry. President. I like my women how I like my psychiatrist. Invasive. <laughs> I like my women how I like my psychiatrist. Professionally detached. <laughs> I like my women like I like my psychiatrist. Always reminding me of my relationship with my mother. <laughs> I like my women like I like my psychiatrist. Always giving me drugs, so I forget that they're there. <laughs> okay, we'll get one more. Yeah, one more. Yay. Anything you want. Shoes. 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 I like my women how I like my shoes. Two for one. <laughs> I like my men how I like my shoes. Just the right fit. Aww. Where was it? wasn't dirty this time. I like my women like, like my shoes. A little too tight. Alright, we have been Ad Liberation. Um, you can check us out online at adliberation.net. Our Facebook and Twitter is all in there as well, so you can find all that there. Thanks for coming out. Um, grab some cookies on your way out. We have been I'm Mike. <laughs> Katie. Sammy. Taylor. Matt. I'm Joe. And I'm Tim. Thanks for coming out. <laughs>